Hey, 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 Yura Shaman here, and welcome to more of Psychonauts 2. In the last episode, we finished and fixed the barber aspect of Fort Cruller, and it leads us here in the forest. And we, he told us that we are going to witness what is happening and what we have done, which is a bad thing. So let's jump right into it. So we are in the graveyard. Hopefully there's no u ray or Wraith or any ghost that will haunt me in this graveyard. Or maybe. Oh, what is this? A calm? Oh, it is a calm. I, I need to run. Or is it? Oh, it's not a calm. Oh, <gasps> uh, what is that sound? So the tombstone plays the music. That is the music I'm instrument. I'm sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you want to see this at all. So Fort Cruller is burying, burying something secret that he doesn't any he doesn't want anybody to know. That is why he decided to shatter his own mind. What? And now we are the one who's going to witness it first. And. <laughs> We're not falling, Raz. It's chill. Is Melugula family died? Is that why? Okay, bowling aspect. Hey Ford, what's the deal with the Deep Six treatment? I did what I had to do. I loved her after all. Wait, what? Someday when you fall in love. You'll oh, understand. what the heck? Maligula's body was missing. Did you guys remember? So I think Fort Maligula was indeed defeated and was buried. But one day Fort just decided to come back to the graveyard and dig up the body. <gasps> so Fort is a delusionist. <gasps> oh my goodness, what a twist! This is one aspect that I love. In this game, other than arts and the story and the plots and everything, it's the twists. And this is the barber aspect. Ford, what's going on here? What did you want me to see? I couldn't let her go free. She was a danger to the world. Even though it was the world that made her dangerous. Lucretia? Where is she? Safe. She's safe. Well, she was. But we all were. <laughs> Not anymore. Interesting, interesting. And this is the male aspect. Look, Ford, whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? Where did you hide her? Yeah. It's the one. She's with family. This is the one who took the body. Took uh, Lucy's body and hide her. Oh man, a family means delusionist. I just, I don't know. I have a feeling that Fort and delusionist has this connection. A uh, bad connection. Ouch. Oh. Pretty sure I was bigger than this size when I was in the coffin, trapped in the coffin, and I'm s slowly getting slower. See, I told you I just love psychonauts just because of that. Huh. What a who's that? And that's your grandparents, Laszlo and Marona. Huh? They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster. Remember? What? Okay. No. Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. <gasps> no, Raz, she didn't. Maligula or, did. I just saw her today. No, you didn't. Holy crap, Grandma is Maligula. What a twist! Oh, I've been living with Maligula all this time. With Maligula? She was defeated, but alive. I snuck her away from the others, and I put her in the astrolabe. 
one of Otto's inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the Saki. Okay. And I used it to isolate and neutralize the part of her Saki that was... A murderer? Problematic. And I had my Lucy back. Wait. If my grandma is Lucy and Lucy and Ford is a, a pair, means Ford is my grandfather, right? But I knew the world would never forgive her. So I had to hide her somewhere. Oh no. I hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Accept Maligula? Yes. As your grandmother. No! Damn. That hits hard. That's the biggest twist in my... I ever... Ever felt, like... Last couple months. Or last couple years. Or maybe decades. Let me go! Listen, Raz. I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma. And so you made us babysitter for 20 years? Now look at you spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel, and there's no telling how they'll react. So? Oh, they might try to I kill see. Her. So Maligula is our great aunt. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her. Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. I don't know. It's She's getting, not there. It's getting complicated. Probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. The Psychonauts started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in, trying to go home. Remember, mad later, mission first. Now stick close, I'll show you how to get through. Oh, that's why last time I tried to go in. It just teleport me back. Because there's contraption contraptions. Agent Cruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Yeah, he's just gone. <laughs> uh, this is from the trailer. I watched the trailer before. Yep, this is the trailer. Wow. It's really all still here. The Great Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Cytanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmet Fulbear workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... Where... Everything ends. I mean... This is where it all began. No Raz. No Raz. This is where it all this ended. This is where it all ended. Ooh, that bass in the background. Cinema style. Ooh, okay. Woo! Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, it's deeper than I thought. I shouldn't, shouldn't use my levitation on that. Jump, jump, and jump, and jump. It makes me think though, like, if we are cursed to die in the water, doesn't that mean that our grand aunt curses us? Nona? Beauty, what Beauty. are you doing here? 
Do you know where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Uh-oh. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound... We got into some pretty far out stuff here. Uh, what far out I've stuff? Read about the kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. Oh, man. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition. It's so vulnerable. Oh, okay, so that's uh, the situation. Something out in her that should have been locked away. Maligula. After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolabe, a powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Now you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. We were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. Ah, uh, you're I just bingling on help. us. Come on, Port. Oh no. What is he doing? What do you need me to do? First, I need you to Taking go to the Hector Dome and prepare the astrolabe. Well, I stay here and keep a close watch on her. Uh, where's the heptodome? Again? Right back, Nona. Away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here! Oh. <laughs> is that a glitch? Or is it just intentionally? Like some stuff I'm falling over whenever the cutscene is doing. I mean, going on. <laughs> like what happened with Coach Oleander in the first episode? It's actually hilarious. You handle this one. I'll find a way out. Come on, Coach. <laughs> he just waltz out like that. <laughs> Incredible. This is where the first Psychonauts met. This must be the astrolabe. Ooh. Looks really uh, rough. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. How? Well, hmm. those are thick and thorny. Oh, uh, maybe this is where we will meet Cassiopeia. Yikes. The Green Needle Witch. Okay. I'm gonna need a little help here. Uh, what help? Wait, what are you doing here, Orto? I mean, <laughs> it is for the convenience of the game, but. Uh, burn! Uh, laser! Uh, time! I'm not touching that thing again until I get rid of the bees and vines. Yeah, but how? <laughs> ah. Sweet, sticky babies. Ooh. Look at that. What's this? <laughs> There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Yeah, I don't think we are close to the ending because we still hasn't unlocked all the powers. Oh, great. He smokes. Bees love me. Is that the real Feelmobile? Ah! Wow. The Feelmobile! This is the Feelmobile! Feel tuna <laughs> and a car wash. And actually, anyway, it smells like um, a family living in there. So how, how do I take you? Um, oh, I, I know. I have the power. Why am I still asking? How? Not responsible for death by bees. Ah, that's the house for Cassiopeia, probably. Okay. Bees, I'm coming for you. I'm not touching that thing again until I get rid of the bees and vines. Wait. It didn't work. What the heck? So maybe we need the bigger one and we need to go to the tower. So let's meet Cassiopeia. Or, I guess, this one is for this one? Not really for that one. What's wrong, bees? Smoke get in your eyes? 
yappies. Smoke this. <laughs> Think the over. Man, Ross is just can't take being a jerk. <laughs> Stop being a jerk. Bees is friendly. I like bees. Hope I'm not contributing to the global decline of bee populations. Yeah, hopefully. Oh. Alright. KCOP! Are you here? Hello? Hey, ah, Shiz. Casey. Nice to you, meet you. Green Needle Witch. You don't exist. You're just something someone put into my mind. No. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. And another hallucination. No. <laughs> a very solid hallucination. <laughs> you crazy. Oh, man. Are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Yeah, we are the one who oh, fixed him. I knew him. it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolabe, but it's covered in, well, Really angry bees. Know anything <laughs> about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. So we need Wait, to defeat Cassie. the queen bees. What the Who's heck? She? What the heck is happening? Don't tell me Cassie's broken too. There's so many things to do, man. Hello. Uh, are you going to do something? Cassie? Shh, they will hear you. Ah, uh, they're bees. They don't have ears. Would you sign my copy? <laughs> Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. What took you so long? Ah, oh, she's awesome. Thanks, Cassie. I like her already. So are you the Green so, Needle Witch? Are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Oh, because you're so because tall. You're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. <laughs> Why? You silly. I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. I can see that. Um, what's up with what's these strange up with bees? Strange bee things. I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. Oh, nice. Um, what are you doing? doing out here by yourself? Why don't you work out of the mother loop with the rest of the cycle? Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new Psychonauts thing. Ah, uh, she's a boomer. I have to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can. In case Ford and the others ever come back. Well, Ford did come back, so... Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind on the next episode? I'll let you get back to your bees. Yes. Alright. They get upset when I make too much noise. It is really nice to meet a new character, Cassiopeia, and it's really nice to have you guys accompany me um, exploring this story. Now, we understand how Maligula or Lucy went crazy, it's because her mind was vulnerable. And we realized that, oh, there's a card over there, and we realized that our grandmother is actually Lucy? 
What the heck was that? So, yeah, we're going to help Cassie and Casey will help us to help Ford to help Lucy to stay away from her other self, which is Maligula in the next episode. Thanks everyone for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Leave a like if you guys enjoy the video and subscribe if you don't want to miss any videos from me. And thank you. Appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.